All right, guys, so today we're gonna be looking at a very interesting looking pair of true wireless earbuds. And the pair that we're gonna check out are the Phil CC2s. Now, if you don't live in the United States, you may have seen or heard about these a few months back, but they just now have become available in the United States. So I definitely wanted to check them out, not only because they have this interesting, unique design, but we've had some really good luck with Phil's products. Uh, and also on Amazon right now, it says that these retail for 70 bucks, but there is a 40% off coupon code where you can pick them up for only $42. And this is one of those pairs because it is an open air design uh, that is definitely an AirPod alternative. So the fact that you could get about four of these for the price of one pair of AirPods, um, it just meant I wanted to check them out to see how they stack up. So we're gonna look at the features, we're gonna check out the sound, uh, see what all comes inside the box and see if it's actually worth the 42 or $70 price tag. Now to start with, let's just go ahead and look at the design real quick. Uh, you can see that the case has this very shiny aluminum look. Uh, the earbuds themselves actually have that same color scheme. You can also see that the case is open up top. So when you take the earbuds out, uh, there's no lid or anything to actually cover this open area. Now I do wanna talk about this when we actually talk about the case. Uh, but once you pull the earbuds out, you can see that the stem on the earbuds actually have a squared off look as well. Now I haven't seen this on another pair. Uh, and again, because of that and the, the way that they have the earbuds sitting on here, it just kind of has like a more modern look, but it does stand out amongst a lot of the other earbuds that we check out. Now, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do before actually using the earbuds is you are gonna wanna download Phil's app. And the reason I say that is it allows you to change the controls on here, which we're gonna talk about. Uh, it also has like 15 different pre-built EQ options. Uh, they do have a 10 band equalizer so that you can just custom EQ these the way that you want. It also will show you the battery level percentage of the earbuds. You can update your earbuds. And then it also has three different levels of low latency modes. And one of them is called music and technically that's the normal mode. So we'll just say that they actually have two. But the two that they have is a movie mode in a gaming mode. So you kind of have your low, medium, and high as far as how you wanna set your low latency. Now, the higher level that you go, it's going to affect your battery life, and it's also going to affect the distance that you can get from your actual device. But if you are gonna be gaming on a mobile device, I think this is excellent that you can switch it into a mode that's specific for gaming. So this is definitely an all around uh, earbud that you can use for music and different types of media. Now, as far as some of the other technology that's in these, uh, they are using Bluetooth 5.2. There is no aptX playback on these, but there is AAC and SBC. And another thing that I also want to point out is they are using 13.1 millimeter drivers in here. And that's a fairly large size driver for a pair of earbuds. But in an open air pair of earbuds, uh, I almost think it's necessary because you need something that can push bass a little more and push volume a little more when you're going to be competing with your audio, uh, kind of blending in with your surroundings. Now, as far as using these outdoors, uh, they do come in rated at IPX4, which is basically kind of at the low level. Uh, so it's gonna be fine as far as if it starts to rain or if you sweat heavily or if they happen to get splashed on, but this is definitely not a pair that you would wanna submerge into water. So again, that kind of matches Apple's AirPods. Now, as far as what you're getting inside the box, this is kind of easy. There's no ear tips included because it doesn't fit this type of design. Uh, and outside of getting the instruction manuals, the only thing that you're getting is the USB-C charging cable. And this is the only way to charge these because there is no Qi wireless charging on the case. And speaking of the charging, uh, the battery life is pretty decent on these, especially again, compared to Apple's AirPods, because on the earbuds themselves, you're going to get a little over five hours, where with the charging case, you can expect to get around 30-ish hours. It says 32 hours, uh, but I experienced getting a little closer to 30. But if you do happen to pick your earbuds up and they are dead, uh, these do have a fast charge feature where a quick five minute charge will get you an hour's worth of use. And that always comes in handy, uh, especially if you're somebody like me that sometimes forgets to charge your earbuds. Just, just nice to know you can get a quick hour on a five minute charge. 
Now moving over to checking out the case itself. Um, again, I wanna point out it has an open design so that you can easily just grab your earbuds and not have to worry about a lid. But one thing that I really think you need to worry about is the stuff that can get into this case. Because it's open and you put it back in your pocket or you put it in a bag or anything, dust and lint and pretty much anything can get in there. And the problem with that is at the very bottom of the case is where your pin connectors are located. And that's what causes the case to actually charge your earbuds. So if there's something in the way between those pin connectors and the bottom of the earbuds, uh, your earbuds are not gonna charge. And sometimes you may not realize that it's not charging. Uh, but looking at the rest of the case, you can see Phil's logo right up front. And on the bottom of the case is where the USB-C input is located for charging. Now, as far as any kind of indicator light, uh, there is one actually on the top, but you can't tell that it's there. Uh, the only way that it lights up is when it's plugged in and charging. So it's just letting you know that the actual case is charging. And other than that, there's no way to actually really tell how much battery life is left on the case. Now, moving over to checking out the actual earbuds, uh, having this squared off stem just gives it a very unique look. Uh, you can see Phil's logo located at the bottom. Now, I don't normally like stem style designs, but because this has a squared off look, uh, and it has a brushed aluminum look. It just looks a little more modern. Now, as far as the controls on these, this in my opinion is very interesting as well because out of the box, they have it what they call uh, basically a simple mode where you can only play and pause the earbuds uh, and then summon your smart assistant. But you can go within the app and move it over into the other mode that they have. Uh, and that opens it up to where you can control everything on the earbuds. So it's kind of like an all or nothing uh, when it comes to these and the controls, but I do like the fact that they give you that ability just by going into the app. Now for you guys that do like to use your earbuds independently, you'll be happy to know that you can use either the left or the right. And then as far as the microphones on these, um, I do think that it picks up my voice very clearly because of the location of the microphone, because it sits on the bottom of the stem. But one thing that I did notice is this very the slight annoying sound uh, while listening to the recording. But I want you guys to hear it just by listening to the test here. All right, guys, so here is a mic test using the CC2s. Uh, one thing that I do wanna point out is there is a slight ringing as if it's some kind of feedback that these mics are causing. Um, so I think if you're talking to somebody on the other line of a phone call, this could definitely be annoying if this is what they're hearing the whole time. But this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is a mic test with a crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. That way you can hear what it would sound like if you were to use these in public. So now let's talk about the sound, because the sound of these are definitely affected by the design. Uh, and what I mean by that is the open air design of these make them pretty much sound identical to AirPods. It's a very spacious sound because your music's just kind of blending in with your surroundings, but not having ear tips on here is kind of holding back how punchy the bass could be. Now you can tell that they're definitely trying to pump up the bass so that you're able to kind of feel some impact, uh, but for bass heads, it's gonna feel like it's lacking. Uh, and just for people in general that's used to using earbuds, it's not going to give you that same kind of punch. Now, when it comes to the mids on these, you can tell that they push that forward. Uh, vocalists always sounded up front, no matter what genre I was listening to. Uh, and I felt like mids actually had really good detail. Uh, female vocalists stood out the most. Uh, it just came through very clean and very clear. It does tend to get warm with male vocals, but that still kind of lends itself to sounding natural. But when it comes to treble, the treble on these are definitely bright. Uh, they pumped up the treble quite a bit, so if you're not used to that kind of harsh sounding treble, this could be a little too bright for some. So the sound signature that you're getting is kind of like the bass turned up a little bit. Uh, the mids are already starting to come up and then your treble just goes up from there. So this is not the normal U-shaped sound signature, but again, I feel like these do sound identical to AirPods. 
So my overall opinion of these, it's really simple. If you're thinking about getting a pair of Apple's AirPods and you're either not in Apple's ecosystem or you don't care about having your device just work fluidly between all of your Apple devices, this is an incredible AirPod alternative. Now, I do feel like the open air design is kind of holding back on the potential of what you could get with the sound. But as far as like open air style earbuds, uh, this is one of the better sounding ones out there. And then the only other con that I really have, other than the case not being a Qi wireless charging case, is the actual design. I think that people are gonna find that they're going to get sand and lint and different things inside the case, and I can see that being a problem in the long run. But outside of that, it's a $42 investment right now that I think is definitely worth it. I think at $70, it makes it a little bit harder just because of the competition that's out there. But again, that's comparing them to normal earbuds, where when it comes to open air style earbuds, there's not as much competition. And this is one of the best that I've tried. But guys, that's my video on the brand new Phil CC2s, or at least brand new to the United States. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.